for joining me. Today I'm down at Hamworthy. Stuart is out on his boat. And we're about to paddle out in the sea flats and head out to uh, Old Harry. And if we're up to it, we'll go around the Swanage. So it might be a bit challenging, um, but we're just going to do it and see how we get on. I might take some pictures, drones, all that along the way. So see you in a bit. I'm going up to Scotland. I'm going with three guys and we're going to go and do the Great Glen Way and uh, yeah it's basically a canal that just cuts straight across um, Scotland from one side to the other and uh, yeah I'm going to pack some cameras and all that sort of gear and see if I can get some photos along the way document the whole trip so I'm going to vlog the whole way and I'm going to upload it to YouTube so you guys can watch and see how I pack my boat and what camera I decide to take. I am quite limited to space here. I've got a GoPro Hero 4 on the back and it's just some custom made pipe with a pot on the end of it just to hold it upright. Quite good for getting behind me and in front of me shots. Um, should make it a little bit more interesting. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be wild camping, campsites, all of that sort of stuff. So I'm just trying to get some miles up at the moment. And uh, we set off from Hamworthy Lake Pier. We're going to go around Bouncy Island, head out into the open and uh, head over to Old Harry across Studland Beach. And if we've got enough energy, we'll carry on going and we'll go around to Swanage. Maybe get a bag of chips. I'm not sure. Um, but then we've got a long journey back, so we're going to work out how we feel when we get to Old Harry. I brought the drone with me, so I'm going to get some footage there of Old Harry and see if I can get some photos as well, walk you through it. And uh, yeah, so I'll update you along the way. I'll show you some B-roll in between just to keep it interesting, because otherwise it would just be a boring paddle to you guys to watch. Um, so I'll try and make it interesting for you. At the moment, I'm looking at Hamworthy and Paul in the distance, over there. And then this way, that's Bramsey Island in the middle. And then all the other islands around the edge. At the moment, I'm wearing a um, cag. It is quite hot, so I'm going to take that off. And uh, yeah, catch up with you in a bit. Bye. As we approach Bouncy Island here on the south, um, Stuart is just pointing out that there used to be a pottery on the end of this island and um, there's loads of smashed up um, chimney pots and tiles and stuff like that all smashed up and in the bottom of the sea here and on this shingle beach. Um, basically the quality of the clay on the island was quite poor and um, there wasn't so much of a demand for it so yeah um, they had to sell up the pottery and yeah so yeah, yeah it's quite interesting to hear about anyway we moved on along the south here as you can see it's quite calm um, there's a bit of slack here before the tide change um, but it made quite a good, nice, gentle paddle around the edge of Bouncy Island.
we're still moving around Bouncy Island at this point, I was starting to feel a little bit of numbness in my leg and normally when you feel that it's because your hips are too tight on the padding so we make a quick pit stop here to just pull the padding out it just clips in anyway so quite useful that you could just unclip it slide it out and then um, I could put it into one of the rear hatches and um, if I wanted to reintroduce it later I could um, but I, I can tell you now that this did actually make the trip feel a lot better um, as the day went on. Um, so yeah, we moved on from here. We headed towards the ferry and out into the open sea. And we moved on to Studland Beach. So when we arrived at Old Harry the tide was in but it very quickly went back out again um, and revealed a bit of beach, enough for me to put the boat down and um, get the drone up in the air. So the next two images you're about to see I just literally threw the drone up into the air, um, got it to ISO 100, 120th of a second for the shutter speed and um, well, the aperture is fixed on this, so it's f2.8. And I took two of the following shots you're about to see. And um, yeah, I think they came out quite well. And uh, we got away quickly after this because uh, there was a bit of a race against the tide going out on our way back in around Brownsea. And as you'll see in a minute, it does get quite rough. Just an update, we've just come back through at the ferry over in the background there. We've um, managed to get around Knoll Beach and we're on our way back now. We've hit this headwind and we need to get around the back of Brownsea Island. We've had to make a pit stop because my skeg stopped working. Um, but Stuart, he's out on the water and you can see he's going sideways. That wind's taking him that way and um, there's a bit of a tide event there. He's going out. So we're a bit against it now, so hopefully um, we predict about a 40 minute paddle back to uh, Lake Pier. Anyway, see you back at the car park.
I didn't get to uh, make a video when I got back to the car park. I was just so hell-bent on getting the boat back on the car, getting into some dry clothes and getting warmed up. Um, so, as you can see here, I've just placed a map on the screen here. So you can see our rough route, how we've um, cupped in close to Brown Sea Island and then gone out through where the ferry, the chain ferry goes across, followed along Studlin Beach and then made a break for it to Old Harry. The trip back was pretty much the same route. Um, it was just the weather had turned and gone against us a bit. But we just pushed through. I mean, it was good fun. Experienced some conditions out there. Join me next time when I will be talking about the gear that I will be taking to Scotland and I will be showing you how I pack my boat. If you haven't already, give me a like, subscribe. Until next time, bye for now.